McDavid. Moves in, McDavid goes upstairs! What a goal! Hey guys, how's it going? It's Etanios here. Welcome to episode number six of our Edmonton Oilers franchise mode on NHL 20. It's Etanios here, and today we are going to be jumping into some more trades, getting some big moves done, and uh, yeah, the first thing I want to talk to you guys about is our lines. Um, so currently our line chemistry system is not doing very well. Uh, definitely could be doing better. There's a couple guys that I would like to trade simply because they don't fit our scheme very well. It's funny enough that McDavid actually doesn't fit our coach's system that well. But, um, what, what system does he prefer? Ah, doesn't matter. He's, uh, he's happy. So, the problem here, guys, is that we have a bunch of guys like Tolvanen and different guys like that who really don't fit the scheme well. Like Chase on Tolvanen. Honestly, even Pat Maroon doesn't fit that well. So, yeah, um, we're going to be looking into potentially making some trades here. Um, same thing with the defense, guys. I was looking at our defensive core, and honestly, it's not the greatest. Uh, we're definitely lacking without cleft bomb right now like cleft bomb would seriously help our team but um like <laughs> it's just it's not not good enough right now that's how i would describe our team as far as ev how everything's gone so far um so i might be looking to trade a player like sergachev too since he only fits half of our strategy and seriously affects the line chemistry there so, like, things like that, guys. It's just, it's uh, it's difficult to really make everything click here. And um, that's what we're going to be trying to do today. So we are going to be making a couple trades, hopefully, as long as they go through. They're going to be a little difficult because I'm targeting some very good players. So, the first player that I wanted to target, guys, uh, he fits literally all of our, um, what do you call it? He fits every single one of our uh, line strategies there is Rasmus Dahlin, um, obviously all defensive pairings he fits, he fits all our power play lines and all our penalty killing lines, he is a number one overall pick back in 2018, two-way defender left-handed, he has full value, he takes up the entire freaking thing there with his value, so he's equivalent to Dreisaitl McDavid, like those kind of guys, that's how good he is, um, so, <laughs> we're looking into Dalin. Obviously, he's only got one year left before he gets paid here. So, Buffalo might actually be looking to move him, depending on how things go. Um, besides that, I was looking into other players here. A lot of them really don't fit our lineup very well. You guys can see down at the bottom. None. He fits forward line one, funny enough. He's 80 rated, though. Um... Anybody else who's actually, like, pretty good that fits our lines? Johansson does not. Like, there's, that's the problem with this trade, though, guys, is that there's literally nobody out of their forwards who fits our team properly. Dalin would be a great defenseman to trade for, don't get me wrong. But at the same time, it's like... Ocpozo might fit, but he's old. And how many years does he have left? He's got three years left at six million. That's not that's not good. Um. <laughs> uh. So, how are we gonna do this? So that's the first idea. I don't know if we're actually gonna be able to trade for Dalin. Obviously, I would love to. He's an awesome defenseman. Like defense pairing one, power play one, four man power play one. That's what he would fit on our team. That's insane. Um. Anyways, moving on to my kind of next trade target here. This is a bigger one, guys, because, uh, well, there's a couple reasons. First off, Thomas Shabbat, or Shabot, it's Shabbat. Um, Thomas Shabbat, I would love to get him. Again, fits all of our systems uh, compared to our other guy there in, um, what's his name? Our other guy in uh, Sergachev, who doesn't fit so well. And then Brady Tuchuk. 
I mean, Edmonton could have drafted Matthew to Chuck back in 2016, and they didn't, which was a really big mistake in my opinion. Um, they took Pugliarvi instead. Obviously, that didn't turn out. But um, as you can see, fits forward line one and all the penalty killing lines. So that could be very effective as well. Um, so the trade would be for their two kind of prospects there in exchange for Sergachev and Tolvanen. And we would be over the cap. Oh, because Shabbat's got a big contract. Ah. So that would not work, unfortunately. Um, so, those are my ideas, guys. I'm not sure if they're actually going to pan out or not. Oh, there was one more player, and this was for our forwards. This is for a winger. Obviously, his value is much different than uh, a lot of our players' values, and yeah, he's expensive, my god. Okay, well, the guy I want to trade for here, obviously, you can see on the screen is Mark Stone, but I did not realize he had a $9.5 million contract compared to Tolbinen with literally nothing on his contract. So, this is going to be kind of rough. We're not really going to be able to trade for anybody here by the looks of it, just simply because, um, Simply because our cap space won't allow it. Like, 7 mil Sergachev. That's, like, our contracts aren't terrible. Obviously, Benino we could clear up. Um, who else? Benino, even, like, Sam Gagne doesn't have a great contract. But, um, yeah, there's a couple players here that could aid in our cap relief. Um, but, again, it's just, it's not going to happen. We don't have enough cap space. So if we were going to make a trade happen, it would have to be, um, what's his name? It would have to be Tolvanen alongside, um, where is he? Tolvanen alongside Benino. And we're still over the cap like that. Just, it wouldn't go through. Um, so yeah, I'm trying to figure out a trade here that actually fits our team. But by the looks of it, a lot of these guys don't even fit our systems. Um, Pasternak, I believe he he only fit forward line one. That was it. So, like, not great. Um, <laughs> yeah, there really isn't a lot of options here for our team. Um, we could try Dalene and what's his name way down at the bottom here. Akpozo, so that's six million in exchange for Sergachev and like I don't know. Um, Sergachev and Axamon? Question mark. <laughs> um. It's league approved, but I doubt it's going to go through. Yeah, so we're going to have to offer much more value than that. Um, I don't want to trade a guy like Pettinen just yet because uh, I think he could like turn out to be really good. But again, we're still not sure on a lot of those guys. That would probably go through if we actually did that. I'm going to put Whitmore on here, see if this goes. Um, they're probably still not going to take this. Simply because it's Dalin, we're going to have to overpay by quite a bit. Even though we are offering Sergachev too, which is absurd. Um, so, by the looks of it, I mean, we got Landeskog, Broberg, which is a very nice Swedish pair in there. They're going to be insane. How does Broberg have worse skating than Landeskog? What do you mean? <laughs> um, huh. We could throw Chase on in there. See if they take that. Probably not. Oh, and they do. Oh, shit. Okay. I wasn't expecting that trade to go through. Um, that surprised me, guys. So we've still got the contender uh, option there, but I was not expecting that. Simply because, um, well, fuck, he fits our lineup nicely. So, yeah, you can see. Kyle Poso instantly provides a plus three chemistry boost there on the side. You can see it right away. It's very nice. Um, and then Dalene uh, doesn't fit as well, but still still fits our lineup quite nicely. 
Um, I thought he was going to be like the perfect kind of player for us, but it's okay. Um, that'll work out just fine. We can go Dalene and Schultz there. And then that balances it all out. Okay. So yeah, we make a trade, improve our chemistry, our lineup chemistry for sure. Um, and then I do want to move Tolvanen still because McDavid, again, doesn't fit any better. Actually, all these guys don't fit very well. Holy... What's our first line offensive strategy? I need to check that because it is not. What's our co what? What's our coach's strategy here? Oh, I don't want to find a trade. No, no, no. Um, what the hell's our coach's strategy though? Um, Burroughs prefers what? He's a defensive coach, that makes sense. But... He prefers overload. What do you mean? Like, that's right. That's that's good. I don't know why our forward lineup is struggling so much with that. They shouldn't be. They should our first line should be better. Okay. Yeah, I don't I don't get it, guys. I don't understand why it's doing that. We're actually going to go and try to use the trade finder to see if uh Eli Tolvanen or Eli Tolvanen, it's Eli. If Eli Tolvanen can uh nobody wants him. <laughs> okay. So, we're going to attempt to go for Tchuk here. See if we can actually make that happen. I doubt it, but you never know. Okay, so to Chuck, obviously on a rookie deal, one year left. Tol or not Pettinen, Tolvanen, also on a rookie deal. It's a pretty, pretty much even trade for the most part. Um, I don't really want to give up anybody else. Like if we were gonna do, hmm, who else has actual value in this lineup? Um. Anisimov is old. Yeah, no. And Drake Batherson maybe fits our top six, which is interesting. Hmm. These guys are all like pretty expensive though, so <laughs> they got Lavoie, but he was yeah, 38th overall. Okay, um, so if any of these strategies are actually going to work out, I feel like, um, what's his name? Um, they got Marco Rossi too, ooh, this guy might fit. No, forward line one, like what? Eric Halla, forward line one, I don't understand. <laughs> I really don't anymore. Okay, I don't understand how the uh, this system's working. So could we go Ottawa's pick plus that in exchange for Tolvanen and Pettinen? I doubt that goes through, but you never know. And it does. Okay, so that's actually a very good trade. We pick up Ottawa's first round pick and a player to help us contend right now in exchange for, yeah, you can see the plus three chemistry boost seriously helps us out there. Um, Tachuk is going to be a monster. How many points does he? He only has, uh, 
Well, he's only played 41 games. He's uh, He's been injured a little bit by the looks of it. So he should start putting up better points moving forward now. And um, I actually don't understand why this is happening. What happened to our wing? <laughs> Okay guys, so now that our team is set up pretty well, we're going to jump into another, hmm, how many? We go with like s up to 61 games, yeah. If we go up to 61, we're at 45 right now. Um, we're going to simulate about, we're going to sim 26 games, no, 16 games. We're going to sim 16 more games, guys, and then uh, I will be back with you guys. To hopefully get into some more gameplay and uh, kind of finish off the regular season here. And my controller is going to die. You know what? I honestly might consider this trade, guys. Simply because our team is so bad. I need to turn my controller back on. Let me edit this trade. Um, instead of Girardi, I would prefer... Um, actually, how does he fit our system? Top four pairings. Okay, so that would help. Um, but I am going to need a goaltender back. Can I get like Ingram and go like that? Okay, how about instead of Ingram, we go with this guy. I can give him a third rounder this year. Okay, so we're going to move Jones down for now. We pick up Ryan Murray. Um... We have a championship status team. That's what it says. But it's very apparent that that is not how our team's playing. Like, shit. We got all lefties, though. That's a little rough. Um, okay, so we're going to run with the... Yeah, we're going to run with this lineup for now. Um, on the back end, and then as far as the front end goes, pretty terrible. Yeah. Oh. Okay, so we really don't have, again, bottom six scoring, guys. We really don't have chemistry for it. Those both bump to plus three when we, I'm leaving the lineup like that, okay? Like, we at least need our top six scoring. We are so done, guys. We are like seven games. Seven? No, we're like 11 games behind. So I'm going to jump in. Is our goaltending really that bad? 76 goals. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. 76 goaltending. This is going to be real fun. Fuck me. All right, boys, here we go. Dry saddle McDavid to Chuck out here on the top line. Let's see what we can do. Because we are freaking screwed right now.
Um, why is Vetalinen in net? I don't know why Vetalinen's in net, guys. I really can't tell you. Um, did we actually move Mike Smith down? Is that what just happened? That was actually a pretty decent shot. I did not think it was going to turn out that well. Come on, Rasmus. Let's see what you can do, buddy. That's what Darlene can do. Ha <laughs> ha. Nice goal. That's why we signed him, boys. He's a high elite defender. He, I doubt he could become franchise before... Um, yeah, I doubt he'll become franchise, but... I mean, that'd be sick if he does. Like, that's a nice freaking goal. <laughs> okay, so we gained the lead here. That's huge. Um, I believe we're playing on pro, but I'm not 100% sure. Oh, nice goal, Kreider. I did not expect him to put that one in. Um, so yeah, we're up 3-1 now, boys, and uh, definitely playing better hockey compared to how we have been during the regular season. So yeah, nice goal. Uh, just makes a power move to the net and tucks it in past Varlamov. That's a big goal. Well, Maroon's in. And he scores again. Like, f I don't understand this game, boys. How do we lose so many regular season games? And then when I jump in, we just score. Like... Oh, yeah, that's a goal. I could tell right away that, that we were giving up one there. Our defense just got caught caught sleeping a little bit. But Darlene and uh Darlene and Murray are a good pairing for sure. And there we go. That's gonna be the game. Alright, five two in. I'm gonna quit because we got lots of games to go, guys. Like this is just Oh boy, also why the heck is Vetalinen in net for us? Do we have like a goalie injury? Is that, is that what's going on right now or what what's happening? Because I could not tell you guys why. Um, What's his name? Why Vetalinen's in net? Yeah, there's literally no reason why. <laughs> um Smith's not injured, they just uh I swear to god if Mike Smith got like No. Yeah, no, there's no way they just like take a goalie off my roster for no reason. Okay, so we're gonna hit best lines and then we're gonna take a look at this lineup again because if they changed it on me again. Why? Like, yes, Dreisaitl's a good second-line center, but Nuge is a better second-line center. <laughs> Ugh, okay. Um, actually, you know what? <laughs> they probably have uh, some pretty bad defense set up there, too. Yep. Doesn't make sense. Makes sense to do that, though. Okay. So, um, we're just going to keep the games going here, boys. We need to... How far out of a playoff spot are we? Yeah, um, we're currently 12 points out. So that means we need to go on a 10-game win streak. 10 games in a row. So we won one there. Let's see how this one goes. One, nothing. They didn't blow it. Oh, wow, they really blew them out. Nurse, dry side of cleft bomb, Dali, and dry side of Nuge. Holy. F <laughs> wow. Okay, so that's two games. 
Two out of ten. We need to win ten games in a row here. Come on, boys. Just keep them going. You can see we surpassed one team already. And we're up 3-1. We didn't blow it against Boston either. Let's go. Okay, so we're three-game win streak now? Yep. It's looking better, boys. McDavid's actually up to a point of game again. And just keep them coming, boys. We need to win these games. 1-1. One, one. I'm going to jump in. It's too close to uh, too close to not jump in. And yeah, LA division rival, obviously. All right, boys, here we go. In LA, playing against the Kings. And 1-1 uh, one, one third period. I lose the faceoff. <laughs> Great start. What was the penalty? Interference, huh? Dalene's going, what? What? I, what's that call? That's literally what they're doing. And Clef Bomb gets hooked, so we got a 4-on-4, four four, baby. Oh, high stick, baby. Let's go. That's uh, that's bad on LA's part, for sure. This game's much more intense, I have to say. Um, yeah. Caught him right in the face, and... Really? You're gonna give me that? You're gonna give me that? You're really gonna give me that? Fuck off. Alright, so you got a five on four here. That was a big shot. Skate, Leon. Oh, 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 there's a dry sidle shot. That's what I was looking for. <laughs> Absolute cannon. Glad that didn't hit anybody because that would have hurt. My God. That was a very nice goal. So we're up 2-1 now. Uh, made that power play count. And very nice, very nice shot from Dry Saddle. Shit, they got a break in. I took a penalty. Oh! Bonino, why? Why must you do this to me? Hello? It's a little bit scary, boys. Okay. Come on, boys. We can do this. We got this. Yeah. Yeah, there it is. 30 seconds left. I knew we were going to get scored on, guys, just because that stupid penalty. Six on four. Like, it's hard to defend. I don't even know who Evan Rodriguez is. <laughs> Looks like a Buffalo player by the uh, caller. But let's see if we can win it here in the last 30 seconds, boys. I do not want to drop this game or even drop points to the Kings. All right, boys. So uh, we're still going. We're all over them, too. So Drysaddle, McDavid, and Dalene should be able to take care of the Kings here. Oh, I messed it up. All right, Drysaddle, let's see this four check-in on Doughty. That was a terrible pass. Right, Drysaddle can get the Hattie. <laughs> That's what happens when I really try to score, guys, is we get some ridiculous highlights like that. Like, holy crap, what a goal. Drysaddle for his third of the game, 
and to win the game. Holy crap. Look at that shot. Ping. Just past Kopitar's leg. Gloves up too late. And that's the game, boys. Freaking nice goal from Drysaddle, man. Holy crap. That's just, that's something else. That was a nice freaking goal. <laughs> okay, that's four. Four wins in a row? That's five. Four. Um, yeah, I think that's four in a row now. We are just not... Not catching up quick enough, and uh, that's what happens when you lose that many games in a season. Freaking 37. Okay. We're down 2-1, so again, got to jump in, boys. I know, it's a lot of games. Calgary's got good defense, Mike. All right, boys, here we go. Battle of Alberta, period three. 2-1 game. Calgary currently leads. Nice pass, hey? That's why you don't give the puck to Dreisaitl in front. <laughs> Such a terrible pass, boys. And uh, that is a tie game. 31 goals on the season for Dreisaitl. Maybe he's going for the 50 again. He, it's, that's a lot of goals away still, though. But my god. That was a terrible, like, terrible pass by Calgary. And the turnover actually cost them there. So, uh... Let's keep it going, boys. 2-2 two -two game. Aw, oh, shit. Good play, Kajula. Two-minute tripping penalty, boys. This is this is huge in the game. Um Fuck off. Fuck right off. Yep. I couldn't clear the puck. Nurse freaking swung and missed from behind the net. Otherwise, that puck would have been out down the ice. Instead, we're down 3-2. Come on to Chuck. There you go. Work it around, and we put the puck in. Fuck, boys. That was too close. Freaking 38 seconds left in the period. That was way too close. Way too close. Okay, it's still 4-on-4 four four for the rest of this game, so. Alright, so we got a power play here for a bit, boys. And, um, yeah. Overtime. Here we go, boys. Everybody stand in. As they should be. All right, Nuge, Hopkins, or sorry, McDavid, Hopkins, and uh, by the looks of it, oh, Drysaddle, Dallin, because it's a power play. Ah, it was only for three seconds or five seconds. All right, McDavid, Drysaddle, and uh, Murray out here now. A good shot, better save. Oops, skirt. There it is. I saw that lane. I was like, man, we have to go McDavid to dry saddle. There's no other way. That's just always how it ends up. But uh, yeah, great, great finish. Long overtime for you guys. And um, whew. Whew. too close. Too close, man. I thought we were done. I thought we lost that game, but uh, Brady to Chuck saves our butt in that game against his brother's team. Not bad, boys. Not bad. We are, uh, what is that? That's five wins in a row now. God, this is just, this is difficult to win every single game like this. McDavid, obviously crushing it on the points, doing really well. But man, like, it's hard. And see, we're like down in every game. All right, boys, here we go. 
we have to win this game. We're down 2-1 right now, so this is going to be this is going to be pretty tricky. Oh, okay, we are going. Nuge and Kovalchuk. Come on, land a punch, Nuge. What the fuck are you doing, buddy? What are you doing, buddy? Lay him out. Fucking Nuge. Literally missed four punches in a row, buddy. Oh. That sucks. God, that's just... That's terrible. That was such bad defense from LA. Like, it wasn't even close. I watched that defenseman. The second he made the cut towards McDavid, I just cut the other way, and he was done. Right there, yeah. Just tucks him in. Dry Sidle with another goal, man. He's scoring all our goals right now. Three two boys. Doughty puts that one away. Shoot. Okay, come on, Nuge. Oh, nice play, Kajula, man. Throws it right at the pad and it bounces out and in front perfectly on to Benino's stick. That's just a smart play, man. That's just a really smart play. Sharp angle. Banks it off the pad and Benino's right there, man. Nice. Short-handed, baby. That, that really helps, especially on a 5-on-3 like that. Two, one, oh, I tried it. <laughs> okay, so we are going to overtime again. We're giving these other teams one point all the time. Man, come on. I know we can win it, but still. Nice. Four on three, baby. We're putting them all out. Screw it. <laughs> 13 seconds left, boys. Otherwise, we go to a shootout, and those are 50-50. McDavid. Connor. Come on, man. You gotta win that one. So, we don't get it to go... And uh, this is going to be a shootout, boys. <laughs> Still got a shot on that. That's funny. All right. OT finishes. Man, that was close. But uh, shootout. Here we go. So Ilya Kovalchuk up first. Is he going to put it away? Oh, he tried the deke. Didn't work. I mean, if he had been over a little bit. I don't think so. I think Lehner was ready for that. Okay, here we go. Connor McDavid. Oh, you poke-checked gay... You wouldn't actually... Yeah, that wouldn't actually happen. You wouldn't poke-check McDavid. That would never happen in real life. That was a really weak penalty shot from Kopitar, was it? Yeah. He literally just skated straight into laner. Okay, dry side all. Snipes. Snipes, man. That shifting the angle on it. Yeah. <laughs> nice goal. All right, so we're up one nothing. If they don't score here, it's over. Oh, later. <laughs> later. That was an insane save. Holy crap. Wow. 
Um, that was insane. I thought Doughty beat him for sure. So that's the game, man. Dreisaitl puts the puck away in the shootout, and we win it. Still two points there. I know LA grabs one, but my gosh, that was uh, that was something else. That was a good game. Wild card still at 73 with Dallas. So yeah, we're not that far out now. Just five points back, and um, we're gonna try to get our record to 10 and 0 there in the last 10. So up two nothing, up three one. We win that four one to Chuck on Varlamov. Good periods there, boys. Um, McDavid with a bunch of points. Just keep the wins coming, boys. We're seven and three now. We're heating up, but we're still thirty two and thirty seven on the year. So not great by any means. Come on, Philly. Up one nothing. Up three two. We win that four three. Ho 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 ho. Brady to Chuck again, man. He's performing now. And uh, we are just out of a spot here now. 75. Yeah, Canucks are right there too. So yeah, just we, we got to keep them coming. We got to keep the wins coming. And uh, we have more wins than regulation losses now, but not overall losses. Oh my gosh. We gave up three goals in a row here against Chicago, boys. Otherwise, we would be right at 10-0, I believe, in the last 10. Dang, that sucks. Alrighty, boys. Let's uh, let's do this. Keep off, oh, McDavid. <laughs> the brink has been insanely good for, um, what do you call it, for Chicago. Kane got laid out there. And McDavid's in. Maybe not. Oh my. It's going to be kicked in. That's unlucky. Wait, goal interference? Really? <laughs> That's such a weird goal, too. Yeah, no goal. No way. <laughs> that is filthy. That is absolutely filthy. Yeah, you can try to call another no goal, but that one's about as clean as you're going to get. Holy. McDavid's just no look backhand there was something else. Yeah, Campbell didn't even see it. He's sitting there looking at McDavid and the puck's out in front already. Might go in. Oh, yes, Kreider, let's go. Weak goal, but that's going to count. Oh, man, I did not think we were going to be able to put that one away either. I tried to set it up, and the defenseman's stick hit the puck. The puck hit his stick, but it still just ended up on Kreider's stick, and it's in the back of the net, man. <sighs> I think we go 10-0 here. I think we just went 10-0 here. Actually, I'm not sure. We still have a minute left. No penalties. Just hold on to the puck. Make good plays. Oh, Maroon, if he had knocked it out of the air, it would have gone in. Four, three, two. Oh, he didn't get the empty net. But that is it. McDavid holds the puck in, or holds onto the puck, and we win this game away from home. That is that's too close, man. That was a too close a game. Chris Kreider going to get first star with one goal, one assist there. Big win, boys. Big win. Um, we're either nine and one or ten and zero oh at this point. I don't know. We will see. 
So, ah, we're nine and one. Got to go one more game, but uh, McDavid's starting to put up better points here. Still hasn't broken thirty goals yet and over double the game. So, interesting. Down two one. Down four two. All right, this is going to be the last game of the episode. Obviously, Brady to Chuck fits our team much better than uh, Eli Tolvanen did. Sorry to that uh, subscriber who suggested Tolvanen, but that's just that's how the game works sometimes. So, uh, yeah, last game here against the New Jersey Devils. We're down two goals, 4-2 going into the third. And we are in Edmonton, luckily, but we have to kill a penalty first. So uh, let's see how this goes. Uh, that could have been a goal. Oh, three goals. Like, oh, tribe two. No, we are not winning ten in a row. Sorry, boys. I'm trying, but uh, my God. New Jersey's not that good a team, I have to say. They're really not, but they're making us look like we're dog shit. Come on, Connor. Thank you, Drysidle. This game is not over, okay? Oh, right, he's not. Oh, God, that was such a weak goal. <laughs> All right, well, why would you have Pugliarvi on your first line, man? He's not a, like... All right, so we're going to quit that game. It's literally double the score, and the referees are a bunch of narcs. So we don't quite go 10 and 1, or 9 and... No, it's ten and zero. We go nine and one. But guys, the referee in is a bunch of cheese. Um, so is the game. Like, fuck. How does Senny or Seni or whatever his name is go upstairs like that? Like, really? Anyways, boys. Um, we're taking a look at the draft class here quickly. Um, Burned Ulrich would fit our team perfectly. As a six foot tall sniper. Um, no weaknesses really. Uh, Trevor Wong, obviously. Oh, it says he's NHL ready. Um, plays behind the net, so he wouldn't be terrible for our team. Sillinger, gonna be a year or so. Joshua Lyles would be nice. Um, again, plays behind the net though. Lack size and reach and character. Um, and then Par Silverberg, obviously nothing really wrong with him. He'd be like your third second or third line elite uh just crashing the net literally that's what he plays uh so that's about it really there aren't a lot of other elites in here hopefully uh vahalati kimo vahalati vahalati it's a weird name um maybe he could turn out you never know but um like as far as our goaltenders go man i don't think we really have we're gonna have to pay a couple guys here. Oof. As far as our goaltenders go in the system, like, we don't have any. So, yeah, I'm not sure how our team's gonna turn out here over the next season or two. Um, obviously, Dalene would be very nice to keep, like hold on to and just stuff. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. I don't know how this is going to go by any means, but um, that's our team for now, guys. We are 9-1, and one, uh, moving back up right near a playoff spot. We're just three points out of the playoffs right now. So I think that's going to wrap up the episode. If you guys are enjoying the Edmonton Oilers franchise, go down below, leave a like on this video, subscribe to the channel if you're new. If you stayed to the end, you better be subscribing. Like, come on, this is a long video. Um, and yeah, 
leave me comments on players you think I should trade for, like moves that you think I could do. Um, I mean, Tolvanen didn't turn out so well. Obviously, we ended up trading him to improve our lineup and our chemistry. But, I mean, the Soilers team is looking a bit more solid now. And we got, uh, we got a couple defensemen here who are starting to turn out slowly. Obviously, our defensive core is quite nice. Overall, our team should be making the playoffs. And we're not. So, <laughs> um, so yeah, that's going to be wrapping it up. I will see you guys all in the next one. This is Etanios signing out. And see ya! <laughs>